Hi guys, this is Christy with Pro in the Home. Today I have another Goodwill Blue Box jewelry unboxing and this one is coming from Lake Worth, Florida. I've had other Florida boxes but this is the first time I've had one from Lake Worth so I'm excited to see um, what we're going to get in this box. If you're new here, I'm Christy and I am a professional reseller which means I sell on platforms like eBay, Macari, Facebook Marketplace, Amazon FBA, and more. And I love getting these jewelry blue boxes so that I can find the hidden treasures that lay inside. So let's take a look and see what's in this box. So on first look, uh, it looks like I've got some really great pieces and I am definitely excited about getting um, into this. So um, just in case you are not familiar with how these blue boxes work. Um, you order them online. It's at 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time at goodwillbluebox.com uh, and you look for the jewelry boxes. They come on uh, for sale at 6 p.m. and you have to be there, I would suggest, at least five minutes early to make sure that you are there in time to get one. It is uh, $34.99 per box and it's $5 shipping. And then, of course, there's like a three, depending on um, maybe where you live, it's $2.89 for tax for me. So it ends up being $42.88 out the door uh, for the box. And you can get up to two boxes uh, per purchase. So um, here's the details there. You can see uh, the breakdown of everything. And these boxes usually more than pay for themselves. The idea is... Uh, that I buy these so that I can resell and I do that in a number of ways. I resell full pieces, I repair pieces and resell them. I, I you scrap metal so like gold, silver pieces, um, I will scrap those to get cash for them and um, overall I just really enjoy the hunt of the treasure. So let's get into this box and look at the pieces individually. Let's start with these pieces that I have found first um, and then we'll talk about each one individually. Okay, um, tons of necklaces in this lot. The first one that I'm going to show you is this black, it's plastic bead. It is like a Mardi Gras theme with the Fleur de Lis. It's black and gold which is perfect for fans that are New Orleans State fans. New Orleans State. <laughs> New Orleans Saints <laughs> football fans. Um, it's really just a great, great looking necklace. It's plastic so it's, you know, nothing expensive but it is a cute piece that somebody will definitely want to add to their jewelry collection. Next piece is gorgeous, but it is missing something. So if you look here at the necklace, look how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, it's missing. It's got jump rings here, but it, there probably was a chain or some another j larger clasp on this necklace. So that is something I will have to repair, but the piece itself is quite lovely. I don't see a maker's mark, but this is the kind of piece that I definitely would um, use Google image search to find. Like I said, it is a, you can look at it next to my hand to see the size of, of that piece, but it's gorgeous. It just needs some repair work done. And this is something that I can easily repair. Next is this silver tone chain. It is marked. Let me see what it says here. Hmm. It has the name of the company on it, but it's not something I'm familiar with. I'm just trying to wipe it off to get it clean because it's got some Les Bernard Incorporated. So Les Bernard, really nice chain. It is like a stainless steel finish. 
really, really pretty. Um, I, I'm just thrilled with this. And it is a barrel clasp, so um, that tells me that it's a vintage piece. So I'll be doing my research on that, but I'm really excited about that necklace. Next piece is just um, a little piece of um, handmade jewelry. Nothing special. It's maybe somebody's kid made it, might have made it. That's just plastic beads. Um, some of the beads are cute, like these are really cute, but they're plastic. And so this is going to go into my craft a lot. So I sell um, things that I don't intend to resell myself in larger lots. So things that might be broken, things that um, are not worth me selling. Those kind of things go in a craft lot so that somebody can repurpose because I do not like to put things in landfills. Um, so I do sell lots of craft jewelry. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, oh, that's pretty. These are uh, feel or feel like glass beads. And they have a pretty, uh, looks, looks like enamel. I don't think this is stone, but I will, yeah. Wait a minute, these aren't even glass. What are these? These are really stone. No, <laughs> hold on. Yeah, these are stone. So I need to figure out what kind of stone these are. Um, but it is a really, really pretty piece. Um, as you can see, uh, beautiful red color. It's got a hook clasp. It's like a silver tone. I don't think it's real silver, but of course I will test that in the same with this. It's got some antiquing to it but it is quite lovely. So I don't know if this may be silver, um, but I am gonna see what I can find out about this using the Google search feature. I love it. So far, so good with this lot. I am excited. Hey, this is just a cheap little souvenir type bracelet that you might get at the beach. It's got little um, silver toned seashells on it. Um, it may be stainless steel, but it's nothing fancy. This will probably go into my craft lot. This bracelet's just a basic little stainless steel cuff. It's in really good condition. I don't see any maker's mark on it, but I do like it. And let me just put this on. Yeah, it's it's a totally adjustable to your wrist. It's just a nice basic piece of jewelry, and being that it's stainless steel, it um it holds its shape, looks good, definitely a sellable piece. Got a couple things here that are tangled. So let me see. I can get out of here, but it looks like some really pretty pieces. So I am definitely excited to see what these are. One of the things about these jewelry boxes is you can get a lot of knotted up jewelry. And sometimes it um, can be frustrating because you can spend so much time on getting out a knot and realize it's nothing, like it's like junk jewelry and not worth your time. But then again, there are pieces that are well worth your time to unravel. And sometimes these aren't the pieces you think they are. Sometimes there's, you know, a gold necklace or a silver necklace that's tangled. Those seem to get tangled so easily. So if you have the patience, you know, it pays off to untangle each piece. So I think 
think this one's about to come out. And you also want to always check the clasps because a lot of times if they're clasped, they're just that much more um, difficult. You unclasp them and they seem to come out very easily. Okay. So let's start with the largest piece, which is this one. Um, I'm not sure what these are. I have had these before. I don't know if they're nuts or if they're wood, um, but they're 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 really pretty the way that they have been um, decorated uh, or colored. And so I'm going to do my research on these, but. Um, they're in great shape. It's got just a little ribbon chain, um, and yeah, they're they're nice coloring to them. There, this is black and white. So I will keep these. This is absolutely gorgeous. I was really excited to see this one because this looks like real stone. Feels like real stone, and let's see what we find out. Yeah, that's definitely real stone. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it has got beautiful coloring to it. It's on what appears to be a vintage style uh, chain. It is not marked. The chain is like a gold tone, but I don't believe it's real gold. And it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Um, but I think it's really, really a pretty piece. And because of the uniqueness of the design, like this little horseshoe shape here, I think I'll probably be able to look this up on Google Image Search and maybe it'll tell me a little bit more about it. This is pretty. This is a little dainty silver tone necklace. It is really quite lovely. Um, these appear to be glass like uh, beads inside or cabochons, and it is marked. So let me see what this says. S-A-Q. I uh, don't know what that means. I don't know if that is a brand. But it's in beautiful condition. This lovely teardrop. And yes, it is, it is glass. All these are glass, so that's, that's really lovely. Okay, next piece. This is a um, little fashion piece of jewelry. It is not marked. It's got a little tassel, a little um, anchor, a little, looks like plastic or glass, cabochons, glass, clear glass. Um, it's pretty. The chain is not in the best shape. And this is something that I will put in craft because there's a lot of great pieces that somebody can use. Okay, I took some time to untangle a few things so that I wouldn't waste your time watching me untangle. And so let's take a look at some of the things that I pulled out. This is a bracelet. And it is unmarked, but it's got this beautiful, it looks like soda light, um, just based on the color, but it, maybe it's just plastic, but it's a really sweet, dainty, uh, silver tone bracelet. I like it. I think it'll sell. This one is absolutely beautiful. This is probably a piece from the 90s. It just has that, uh, that look on, of it. 
it needs some work. Um, I'm going to see, I'm hoping that this is stainless steel and that I can just polish it and it'll bring it back to life. I don't believe that it's silver. Of course, um, I will try to see, but it is absolutely gorgeous. This bracelet, just a little cheap bangle bracelet, nothing exceptional. Um, yeah, it just going into craft. Same with this. It's a pretty piece, um, but these are just plastic beads and it's got some knots in it. It's not worth my time. So again, it'll go to craft. This bracelet is really pretty. It's gold tone with a dark blue enamel. Um, I don't see any markings. Oh, wait a minute. Here it is. Or, hmm, I don't know this brand, so let me see. Four wash? Four wash. I don't know that brand, but it's it's pretty. It's a nice piece. I'll have to do my research on it. Okay, next, um, let's see. This looks like a bracelet or an anklet. I'm not sure. These two look about the same color. There may be more in here. So it may be that they go together. Um, but they're really pretty pieces. They are not real gold. But I probably will, if, and we'll see if there's more in here. And if so, I'll probably sell them as a set. But um, I think they're, they're quite lovely um, together or alone. These, I think, are cufflinks, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm not used to seeing cufflinks for women. These are not in the best shape, and I don't know if it's something that I can clean up or not, but I certainly will try. They do not appear to be marked, so I'm not exactly sure anything about them. But, um... I'm going to clean them up and we'll see how they look once they get cleaned. This ring is in pretty bad shape. As you can see, it's got this gold tone. It's just yuck. So that's going to go into craft. This one, however, is absolutely gorgeous. And I won't be surprised if it's not marked. I don't see it marked. Um... trying to check to see if it's glass or stone. It's glass. And it is just the most beautiful color of orange. It's a dome ring. It's got the gold tone band. Oh, here we go. What does this say? It is marked on the back side. It looks like it's an R and or two backwards F's. FF. What is that? Is that a certain brand? Or, hmm. I don't know. But I, I absolutely love this. So, or, or free people. Maybe it's FP. Is that a P? No. It's an R. So it's a backward F and what appears to be an R. I could be mistaken. But um, I'll do my research, but it's really, really pretty. Okay. This, I, can't, I think it's just glass, but let me check to make sure. Not even glass, it's just plastic. And stretch is fine. And it's, it's a fine bracelet, but it's just going to go in craft. And this, once again, we saw some of these stones earlier. They are not glass. These are just plastic. It's going into craft. I have another one of these. So I have two of the same necklaces. So they'll be easy to list. This um, 
is vintage this would have gone on like a scarf or some kind of um, maybe a silk ribbon and I don't think this I think this is maybe cheap but I'll, I'll double check because um, it's two different shades of metal here uh, and it may be that I can take the jump ring off hard to say uh, so I'm gonna do my research before I decide to send it to craft this bracelet's really pretty it's got this gold tone almost like a brassy gold filigree style these hearts it's not in the best shape but maybe it just needs a little cleaning up I don't see any makers marks yes I do I always say that and then I end up finding them sometimes you just can't see them on the first go round this one does have a mark It says Faust, but that's not something I'm familiar with. So I'm gonna have to. Or it says Jack. <laughs> hmm. So again, Google. I will have to Google image search this once I clean it up to see if it's worth listing. But uh, it is a really pretty piece, so I hope it does clean up well. Then another plastic bead. This is pretty yellow plastic bead uh, necklace, but not worth my time. This is a, or what appears to be, a stone and glass bead tassel necklace. And it's glass. And that is it's quartz. And it's on this lovely tassel. It is not marked. Um, but it's in really great shape. It uh, is something that hopefully will be found on using Google Image Search. Okay, so next is this really pretty glass bead necklace. And it's very heavy. It's got these gold tone beads. It is not marked. And it's got this um, dangle at the bottom that's got the smaller square glass beads and um, this glass ball. Uh, and it is, the colors in it are really, really pretty. Um, I think this is probably a vintage piece. It's nice and really excited about this one. This necklace looks like lava beads. Um, let me see. Yeah, I think they are. Uh, you can sometimes smell lava beads because lava beads, people will put oil on them and um, use them to. Uh, just to keep a scent, like a um, like a natural a natural fragrance, without having to put chemicals on your body. So I think that is what these are. Um, I'm gonna have to double check, but they are pulling as though there's some type of glass or stone, and they do have a little bit of like an oily residue on some of them. So that's my guess. Um, but I'm gonna have to do my little bit more research. These. Are plastic and so that's what kind of throws me off is I don't they're not glass so I'm gonna have to do my research on these just to kind of double check to make sure that that's exactly what these are but um, that's what they feel like to me I found another um, necklace like the green one this one is I believe coral um, if it's not coral 
it, it's some kind of um, stone and again just a really really lovely piece very excited about all the beautiful stone and glass pieces I'm finding in this lot okay. let's see this is a um, bracelet and it's got this magnetic clasp it is really pretty it's got these lovely shades of coral and gold tone um, I don't you see if I see a maker's mark on this I don't think there's one but again this one should be pretty easy to identify using um, Google search console um, but but I do think it's it's a nice piece it's got some great details okay. um, just a cheap little wire bracelet that goes to craft this bracelet reminds me of pure Vita um, I'm not sure if that's what it is but it does have that pure Vita look um, I will use, of course, image search because I don't believe Pure Vita marks their jewelry. If you know if they do or not, let me know. But um, I believe that's what it is. And this would just be a plastic. It's not glass. This little gold tone. It's almost like a rose gold uh, bracelet. It's got a little heart. This may go with these and it's even possible that these are all a set together um, so I'll definitely have to do my research but these now that I look at them they all do have the clasps look very similar in style so maybe they're a set Did you look at them a little bit closer up Yeah, they're really they're pretty, really nice, and they'll sell well as a lot. All right, let's see what's next. Um, two earrings. These are silver with these little seed bead tassels. They look like they're just silver tone. I don't see any markings, but the fact that all of the tassels are there and the metal's in great condition um, makes me happy this is a little looks to be like a little kids bracelet I could be wrong but that's the kind of feel it gives me um, not sure what these are. oh they're dolphins okay yeah so I think these are little dolphins with little rhinestones in them all the rhinestones appear to be there it's really really cute um, I may end up putting this in a lot of children's jewelry it's got a nice clasp on this which you don't typically see so I'll just double check this but um, cute really cute okay this is a little silver tone there's a bead in there that doesn't belong. Let's see if I can push that out. Will be a little bead stuck in there, real good. Um, okay, but for now we'll just leave it there. But it's a little silver tone cuff. It does not appear to be real silver, but I will test it to make sure it's pretty pliable. But um. It's pretty. I think somebody will like that. And it's a feather, by the way. I think I might have called it a leaf, but it's a feather. Um, gold tone chain necklace. Um, I don't know much about this kind of pattern, What's what it's called. It's in decent condition. Could be cleaned up just a little bit. It... Um, really lightweight it's not real gold 
Um, but it's decent, so I'll just put this to the side. I'm not sure what, I, what I'll do about that. Okay, some more little bracelets. This one is like a little leaf cuff. This one has an arrow. Um, let's see, there's a couple other ones. Let me pull all these out. Okay, this one's a little knot. Another little knot. So three of these knot bracelets. I don't know anything about these if they go together or not. This one says Aloha, I think. I think that's what it says, Aloha. That's cute. But all very kind of similar styling bracelets. Okay. This is a little faux pearl. They're like itty bitty little pearls. But they're not real. So this is going to go into craft. It's another little plastic um, I missed, an iridescent faux pearl. It's going into craft. This is a Leah Sophia necklace. It's not in the best shape. It's got some wear, so this is going to go into craft as well. Pretty. Let's see what this is. Charming Charlie's. So not the best brand, but it is pretty. It's like gold tone. It's got this rope like detail on these uh, beads. And it's in great condition. So even though it's not really name brand um, piece of jewelry it's it's really lovely so yeah I think I will sell this probably nothing more than ten dollars but hey it's a good piece okay another one of these that we saw earlier again I think this is just um, cheap jewelry I may uh, put them together if not, I'll just put it in the craft lot. Okay, this piece of jewelry is Mart. So let me see what this says. I think it's Monet, but I'm not positive. Let me see. So this is Vintage Monet, and it reminds me of the other necklace that we saw before, but that one wasn't marked. But it's uh, a nice necklace, gold tone, and it's got this neat pattern um, design to it, and it's got a, what appears to be, I don't know, what is this? Is it like a... Piece of star fruit? I don't know. Um, but that's the clasp. Yeah, I really don't know what that is, but but it's a nice necklace. It's in great shape. Monet always sells well because they're just quality, quality pieces. Okay. This looks like an anklet. Um little wave. I wonder if this is Pure Vita. This kind of gives me that Pure Vita vibe. Maybe I'll if somebody had a huge Pure Vita lot they're getting rid of. This is a little uh, piece of cheap Claire's jewelry. Just a little XO. The chain's in bad shape so this is going to go to craft. Uh, these are just little plastic beads. Uh, going to craft. Same with this one. I feel like there's a couple of these little pieces in here. This may be Pure Vita. Um, it gives me that vibe and it, the colors match those other gold ones. So I'm going to put that all together. Again, another little bracelet. 
that kind of goes with the rest. Again, I'm just really, really thinking that somebody had a lot of little pure, pure vitas. Cause that looks what that looks like too. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. Some kind of necklace. seed beads in it. Um, some of the seed beads are loose, so I'm going to put this into craft a lot. Okay. More of these little cheap bracelets. Um, this one may not be. I'll hold on to this one, but this one is just uh, missing a few stones. It's weak, so that's going into craft. This one, hmm. This is not heavy. It's very pliable, but it's got a nice look to it. So I'll keep this for now. I may end up putting this together with a bunch of other similar style bracelets. This bracelet is exactly the same as the blue one I showed you earlier. So they are a set and that's how I will end up selling them again. Um, I'm not sure about the brand for wash, so I'm going to have to do my research on that. This is a cheap bracelet. This is just going to craft. This is a little seed bead um, necklace. I don't know anything about this, but it is kind of cute. Um, let me get rid of the bonus hairs. Uh, so I'm going to hold on to this for now and we'll see if this doesn't kind of go with some other stuff later. Okay. This little bracelet. Hmm got some iridescent beading, some metal beading. I don't think this is silver, but let me just check to make sure. Hmm, that does look like silver. Let's get out the, the acid and do the acid test on it and see. here. Oh, I don't want this on my fingers. All right, let me take a minute. Clean. All right, so let's try this again. Gives off a silver vibe. So let's see what this has to say. Yes, this is definitely silver. Okay, awesome. So this is a really pretty bracelet um, and I'm excited got at least one piece of silver in this lot. All right, let's keep looking and see what else we find. Okay, this is just plastic beaded necklace. This is going to go into craft. A lot of good necklaces for someone who wants to craft, but not great for someone like me who wants to sell a piece of jewelry. Okay, here's another bracelet. Um, this one is just a silver toned bead. I do not believe this is silver. No. Okay. Okay, these are some charms, little arrow charms. They are great for crafters, so that's exactly where this will go. It'll go into the craft lot. Okay, here's another bracelet. This makes me think again. Pure Vita. I would imagine that several of these bracelets probably went together. I would think that, let's see, maybe the 
three of these might have gone together. So we'll see. Okay. Another little necklace. This one has a heart and it looks like a cutout heart that would fit in the center. Um, I'll do a Google image search. It looks stainless steel, but other than that, um, I don't know that it has any value. Bracelet probably with the rest of those, and then you've got this one that has a leather cord on it again. Um, this one looks like it's broke, it's part of it's coming unhinged from inside here, but that shouldn't be too difficult of a fix. I may be able to glue that back in. It's just a little fashion ring. It's missing a lot of the stone pieces inside, so this will go to craft. Oops. Okay, this is a ring. It's gold, like a rose gold tone. It's really pretty, but just a little fashion ring. Nothing, nothing exciting, but it's nice. Okay, same with this. I'm guessing this is a ring. I uh, don't know if it's a piece of jewelry that has come apart. Um, I'm finding lots of little pieces of jewelry right now, so perhaps it goes to something. We shall see. This is fashion jewelry. There's an earring attached, bracelet attached. Let's see. There's lots of little pieces in here. Hmm. Hard to say what goes together and what doesn't. But it looks like a pretty piece of jewelry. Um, it doesn't look like. I mean, it's not great make, but it, it's very kind of trendy. Looks like it's a layered necklace. Um, so I'll have to keep working on this. But it looks like it's like a, a little feather with a tassel some faux uh, turquoise colored beads, gold tone chain, so that's definitely worth keeping. All right, let's look at these a little bit closer. Um, now I'm seeing a pattern um, with some of these that I found earlier, like this one. Maybe these all go together as a set because they're all the same color pattern. So it's possible. But again, we have another set of bracelets. All right, this is, I'm guessing Claire's. Yeah, Claire's, yeah. A little yeah, happy and apple necklace going to craft. Actually, I might put that in my kids' lot because it's still in good shape. All right, what else do we have here? Let's see. We've got a few pieces left. Another cheap metal bangle. This will go to craft. And then let me spend a little time um, with this. This is a lot of tangled up necklaces. Okay, so let's go through all those things that were in a knot plastic going to my craft box. Okay, let's see. This is um, a, a pearl.
pearl necklace that has a place in the end where something would have been. This is not real pearls, these are faux, so again, craft box. There's this little, um, they're not even silk, just a necklace, and it had this pretty glass fish on it. This is definitely a keeper. I love these types of uh, pendants. It's in great shape, and so he will be sold without the necklace. Many more bracelets. Um, this one has the uh, rose gold color again. We've got this one, which was similar to one of the other ones we saw earlier, the same kind of stone. Here's another one and yet another one. So more of these uh, bracelets. I'm excited to do my research on those so that I can sell them as a lot. This little black necklace has these faux pearls on them. Uh, it is not marked and this, was, this will go into craft. This is a silver tone necklace. It's got this uh, silver metal piece at the end. Um, it's nothing that I'm excited about, and so this will go into craft. Another silver tone necklace. This one's pretty. It's got a little stone at the end. Um, I believe this is probably glass. Didn't even come up glass, but it's pretty and delicate. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do with that one yet. Um, like before, I found the necklace set that had a shoji that was new. There were two other ones that are very similar styling that were new as well. This one uh, has some of the pieces of the other one, very similar. And this one has um, like the half moon shape. So a couple different uh, necklace sets. There's also this multi-strand seed bead vintage necklace. Let me get some stuff out of the way so you can get a feel for what it looks like. It's really pretty. Nice seed beads. These are not, I'll say they're not glass, but let me just check. I think these are like a heavyweight plastic. Could be glass. Um, hard to say. but. It's in really nice condition. I know some of the beads have fallen off, um, but it, you can't really tell um, on here. And it's just a nice piece. There were a few little miscellaneous earrings that did not have their match. None of these had a match, so all of these, um, they're, none of them are silver. So all of these are gonna go into craft. There was one set of earrings that matched, but they're crap jewelry, so they're gonna go into um, craft as well. And then one final gold tone bracelet. And that is it. So let me pull some of my favorites for you. Okay, so when it comes to my favorite pieces from this lot, um, this is definitely one of my favorites, and I'm excited about it um, to put it back together um, because I do think it's going to be a gorgeous piece um, once I put it on a mannequin. Um, these two pieces, the fact that they're real stone, um, they're just really gorgeous, and um, they're vintage, which is always nice. These two matching bracelets I'm going to do my research on to find out a little bit more about the brand, but the fact that they match is really nice because I can sell them together. And then this necklace um, is just, it's in really great condition, it's vintage, and um, I'm just really excited about some of these pieces. Of course there's more than this, but these are my top pieces. Thanks again for stopping by today. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up because every thumbs up helps me out. It also helps the algorithm to know what you like. So it will start to show you more videos that are similar. 
if you want to see more unboxing videos, make sure you subscribe. Subscribing um, will get you notified as to when I post new videos. And I post new videos at least once a week. Thanks again for stopping by. Again, this is Christy with Pro in the Home.